Hi, welcome to Two Minute Statistics. I'm Dr. Kristen Kinsevich, and in this video, we're going to learn about types of variables. These are commonly uh, discussed, but often confused. So we'll start with the independent variable. This is the part that you are controlling as a researcher. It's what you introduce to see if a change will happen. So in social sciences, particularly in mental health or counseling research, um, it might be the intervention that you're trying. There's a lot of studies out there on cognitive behavioral therapy and the CBT intervention that you're using would be your independent variable. Your dependent variable is the thing that you expect to change as a result of the presence or absence of the independent variable. So in this case with a CBT intervention, the presence of that intervention um, will hopefully change, let's say, someone's depression level. And so the depression level, and we talked about this when we talked about measuring constructs, so go check out that video. We might have chosen to measure depression using the PHQ-9 scale. And so the independent variable is our intervention. Uh, maybe it's a number of sessions that they've had and the type of treatment they had. And then the dependent variable is their score on the PHQ-9, which is how we're defining depression. Then we have confounding or extraneous variables. These are other conditions that could affect the outcome. So let's say someone is also going to um, a, a spa every day while they're getting their CBT intervention done, then that might decrease their depression as well, but you haven't controlled for that. You don't know that. And so there's other reasons their depression went down. That's it, and thanks for watching.